My name is Captain Jim Klopfer and I'm a fishing guide in Sarasota, Florida. Been doing it since 1991. My clients are not at all surprised when I tell them that I like to go fishing on my day off, but they are surprised when I tell them that I often target bluegill and panfish. While Florida has a wide variety of premium game fish like snook and tarpon even and redfish and stuff, I just love bluegill and panfish fishing. It's relaxing, it's simple, it's easy, it's quiet, the uh, scenery is awesome and almost always take home a meal. I'm going to talk real quick about tackle and then get on to my favorite lures. I use very light tackle, uh, light spinning tackle when I fish with artificial lures for bluegill, panfish and crappie. Seldom do I go over four pound line. I also like a slightly longer rod, about six and a half feet. I really think that helps absorb uh, some of the pressure, uh, especially if you hook a larger bass or something like that. I'll even drop down to two pound line, um, particularly when the water's super clear. But generally speaking, four pound mono on a six and a half foot ultralight spinning rod will get the job done. For those of you who enjoy reading and looking at websites and blogs, I have a detailed article on my fishing blog. I'll post a link below in the description. You can read more about these lures and also if you want to, I have links where you can purchase them. Full disclosure, I do make a small commission. First on my list of the best panfish and crappy fishing lures is without a doubt the Johnson Beetle Spin. If I had to pick one lure to fish with for bluegill and other panfish for the rest of my life, it would be without a doubt this lure. Part of it is I just have confidence in it, but it catches plenty of fish. It also gets a lot of variety. Um, this is the 1 16th ounce size. I tend to like darker colors. Black works very well for me, especially here in Florida where the water has a tannic color to it. Um, Dark green is also good, but you know, plenty of people do well with white and other colors. It's a super easy lure to use. You just cast it out, allow it to sink, and as you reel it through the water, this blade will spin and flash. Generally, I give the rod tip a quick twitch, quick twitch to get the blade turning. Then a slow, steady retrieve works best. Um, it'll get down a few feet, so work it around any kind of structure like trees, weed lines, stuff like that. It's also a fantastic lure to troll with. Um, great way to locate fish, put the trolling motor on slow and just uh, drag it around the edges of weeds and stuff. Catch plenty of crappie too with this lure. This is the next size up. This is the 1 8 ounce. If you're looking for trophy bluegill and panfish or just crappie or if there's a lot of bass around, you can go up to this larger size. It'll definitely weed out the smaller fish. But for action, variety, hard to beat the 1 16th ounce black Johnson Beetle Spin. My favorite freshwater fishing lure, period. Hey guys, we're out here at Benderson Lake this morning doing some fishing. Uh, we used the Roadrunner and the Beetle Spin to catch a lot of bluegill and the crappie. Thing in the morning fishing at Benderson Park with Miss Candace trying to catch a brim or a crappie or a little bass or something. Go out here waiting for a bite. Hope oh, you got one. There you go. There's a fish. Not a big one, but it's a fish. Hopefully we catch some big ones out here this morning. He's adorable. <laughs> okay. Torn towards me. We got a nice, some type of brim on here. Not sure what it is. It looks like a, oh, it's a nice shell cracker right here. Look at that. Got the old beetle spin. Oh, 
Nice. Okay, it's got a fish on. Let's see what it is. Oh, really nice bluegill. There we go. That's what we're looking for. We're throwing a little beetle spin up against the shoreline. Slide down and grab it so if you can. It's a 16th ounce black beetle spin with a yellow stripe. For whatever reason, I catch a ton of fish on that little dude. There you go. Nice fish. Look at me. Cool. All right. There's one for the skillet. Perfect. Pretty morning out here on Lake Benderson, trying to catch us a few fish. It's a little slower today. We've caught a few, but you never know. The scenery sure is nice. Still fishing, trying to get one. Pretty calm this morning. It is. A little bit nicer than the other day. Oop, you got one? There you go. Fish on. Hello, little guy. Another little one. Another little guy. That almost looks like a stump knocker. I think. I think it is. Huh. Okay. Cool. Fish on. We're out here uh, drifting road runners, which is a little jig-looking thing, and Candace has got a crappie. Um, go ahead and sit down and lip him so he doesn't jump off. Nice! All right. Perfect. <laughs> Pretty fish. We're using a little, uh, like a eighth ounce white road runner with a chartreuse grub body. They're real effective baits out here trolling in deeper water. Excellent. Nice. Still working the shoreline. Oh, you got a bite. Real, real, real. All right. Fish on. Nice. For whatever reason, the fish are kind of off the bank a little bit today. Must be out on that first drop off. We're doing a little bit better out here in this deeper water. What you got? Two. A yeah, nice fat little bluegill. That'll work. Getting bigger. Yeah, not bad. Perfect. All right, Candace has another one. We've uh, found a little nest of bluegills here. Look at me and smile once in a while. Oh, nice one. We have another fat bluegill, about the same size. Perfect. Aish. That's what we're looking for, fish tacos. The next lure on my list of best bluegill and panfish fishing lures is the simple but deadly effective curly tail jig. I'm 60 years old and I'm old enough to remember when Mr. Twister jigs hit the market and revolutionized jig fishing. The simple little design twists and curls in the water puts out a tremendous amount of action. Almost always fish it on a 1 16th ounce jig head, though you can certainly go down in size or up in size as needed. People that ice fish for panfish will often use um, little tiny jigs, but I find that this, this size grub, inch, inch and a half, on a 1 16th ounce jig head works really well. Also catches plenty of crappie and bass. Very versatile lure. You can cast it out, retrieve it slowly, works very well. You can vertically fish it, which is how what I do often over deeper structure. Just let it hop it up and let it fall. Um, some anglers even fish it under a float, which I don't do very often. And you can troll with it. Very effective trolling. Uh, another good way to locate fish. Excellent all-round lure for every species of panfish, along with game fish such as uh, largemouth and smallmouth bass, depending on where you're fishing. Chartreuse is hard to beat. The old saying, if it ain't chartreuse, it ain't no use. I'm kind of a believer of that. Just a great all-round color. I also like white. Um, when the water's stained, I like to mix up the colors and maybe go with a chartreuse head and a pink body 
pink head and a white tail, you know, just, just to kind of contrast the colors. Excellent all around lure, inexpensive, available everywhere, catches everything. Number two on my list of top bluegill and panfish lures. The next bait on the list of best bluegill and panfish fishing lures is the Blakemore Roadrunner. It's basically a lead head jig with the spinner off to the side. The spinner adds a lot of flash, vibration, um, and some color to the lure. This is probably more famous or, or better well known as a crappy fishing lure uh, and it's excellent at that. Uh, I use that very very often here in Florida when slow trolling uh, the deep channel edges. You can also certainly cast it out and retrieve it. This is the 1 8 ounce size. Um, you can get them plain like this which is what I do and then put the tail on as needed. You can also get them dressed with marabou which works really well. I tend to like the soft plastics but people do very well with marabou as, as well. Um, the next size down would be the 1 8 ounce size. Just a little bit smaller. I, or I'm sorry, 1 16 ounce size. I generally go with the 1 8 because most of the time when I'm using it I'm after crappy. And if a large bluegill or other panfish takes it, great. Fish it the exact same way as the jig and grub. You can vertically fish it, cast it out and retrieve it. I probably troll with this more than anything else. Uh, it gets down a little bit deeper and excellent all around lure for crappie especially, but we'll catch just about every other freshwater species. Hi guys, it's uh, November and we're here at Benderson Park in Sarasota and uh, we've been trolling for crappie using the Roadrunner and it's been successful. We've caught at least three and um, it's a great fun time. It's been really great. Um, come out and do it. It's a fun, fun experience. Worth it. Yeah, I'm fishing. <laughs> Trolling for crappie on the Benderson Lake. See if we can get us another one. They're fun to catch. They are fun to catch. Good to eat, fun to catch. It's a beautiful hard. day. Can't beat that. Doing video? I think I might have a bluegill. I don't know. It's pulling pretty hard. We went through some school of fish and doubled up. I got yeah. I got one on this other rod. And Miss Bonnie's got a Oh no, it's a crappie. a crappie. Tell you what, just reach down there and lip them. They have really soft mouths. Oh, that's okay. Oh, darn. That's okay, we got plenty. Put that one down and grab this one. <laughs> got a double double uh, double action going. Yeah, we just went through a little wad of them. We got what we need for dinner, so it's okay if they get away. It's funny, we've been working hard at it all morning, and just kind of on our way back, there's the boat ramp right there. Yeah, and we said we might as, well, bam, might, as, bam. might as well fish our way back home. This is an electric motor or paddle lake only, so no big boats, no running around on plane. That's actually a decent one. Another crappie, big crappie. Oh, that is a big one. Big crappie, wow. I thought they were both bluegill, but they were both crappy. <laughs> Sweet, great way to end it. Super yeah, duper nice. Big he is. Nice. That was nice. That was fun. Fourth on my list of the best bluegill and panfish fishing lures is the rooster tail spinner. Just about all freshwater anglers are familiar with spinners. They're very simple lures as you reel them in through the water. The blade rotates around the shaft. Puts out a lot of flash and vibration. This is a slightly more, larger model just to kind of give you a better look at them. There are a bunch of different fine spinners on the market. MEPS is very famous and popular. Uh, Blue Fox, you know, Panther Martins, all very good spinners. What I like about the rooster tail to me that sets it apart is it's lightweight. Um, I like to fish small streams and some of those heavier spinners will hang up on the bottom. The other thing is this lure will, the blade will spin with the slightest movement. That means that you can retrieve it very slowly through the water, which is most of the time how the uh, bluegill and other panfish like to take it. 
Um, when fishing streams, cast across the, the current and just kind of maintain your slack as it drifts. You'll get a lot of bites that way. Deadly working around weed lines and edges. Um, excellent lure. I don't know if you can see it, but on this one there's a single hook. I buy these because I also use these for freshwater trout fishing. They are deadly on rainbow brown and brook trout. And in many areas they have uh, regulations requiring a single hook. This is the this is the 1 16th ounce version. This is the 1 8th. Again, just like with the uh, other lures, if you want to weed out some of the smaller brim and bluegill and just go for the big ones, just step up your lure size a little bit. This thing is fairly heavy and can be cast a long way on light spinning tackle. Excellent all round panfish lure, super easy to use, relatively inexpensive. My favorite color combination is any type of bright color like this with a gold blade. Um, silver and white does work well on a, especially on a bright sunny day with clear water. So these four lures, the um, rooster tail spinner, the curly tail grub, the road runner, and the beetle spin will catch panfish, bluegill, crappie in every single situation. You really don't need any more lures than that. Um, these top four will get it done in just about any environment you'll encounter. Uh, I'm going to cover a few more lures that I use. These are kind of more specialty lures that I'll use when I'm going for bigger fish or when I'm fishing in a situation where there's a lot of other species to catch and I, I may catch a bluegill as well. I really enjoy fishing with plugs, also known as jerk baits for larger freshwater species such as bass and even trout. Tiny versions will definitely catch bluegill, crappie, and other panfish. Uh, I personally like the Rapala line of baits. This I believe is a tiny X-Rap. The uh, Rapala original floating minnow is very popular and is a little bit less expensive. This is a tiny husky jerk really don't go much larger than this in size. I believe this is a, an 04. Um, I tend to use these, these plugs more where bass and trout are more of an option. I have a home in North Carolina and those waters get warm enough in the summer for bluegill and bass to bite yet are still cool enough for trout to live in. So when I'm throwing a tiny plug like this I often do it because I'm hoping for a big bluegill or a crappie but also knowing that these, these have an excellent chance to catch other species. You cast them out, uh, bring them back in a jerky, herky-jerk, erratic retrieve, make them dance sideways. They also work very well when trolled. Um, excellent all-around lure for a variety of species. Like I say, it wouldn't be my first choice if I was specifically targeting bluegill, but catches plenty of them while looking for other species. Spoons are very effective freshwater fishing lures and they catch a wide variety of species. Again, if I was targeting bluegill and crappie, they probably wouldn't be my first choice, but they will certainly catch them, especially larger versions. Excellent lure to troll, certainly can be cast out and retrieved as well. Due to the fact that they spin, I like to use a little uh, swivel or a tiny snap swivel right there to help reduce the spin. Um, the one instance where you'll definitely use a spoon to target bluegill and panfish is ice fishing. Spoons are deadly ice fishing lures. You jerk them up and they flutter down. This is a Johnson Sprite spoon. There's a million different models by a bunch of different manufacturers. They all work well. They all catch fish. Um, seems like local areas have spoons that are preferred over some. You can also uh, tip the, uh, the hooks of the spoon with maggots or a small piece of worm or night crawler when ice fishing or fishing vertically. If you're fishing deep water structure for bluegill, it's excellent because the spoon's heavy and will get down. So good all around fishing lure. Again, not my first choice for bluegill, but will definitely catch, um, catch fish and especially larger ones. Last on my list is uh, something I don't actually have in hand, so I'm going to show you a picture of it, but it's the gulp line of panfish baits. 
There's too many to list, uh, but they all work well. I'm a huge gulp fan in salt water. I use their three inch gulp shrimp a lot. And for those anglers who maybe like to fish with live bait, but don't want to deal with the hassle or want it in their tackle box and ready to go at all times, hard to beat the gulp products. Alrighty, that's it. My list of the best bluegill and panfish fishing lures. Thanks for watching.